gosh. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. So, you know, spaghetti. Yeah, like the pasta. And then, you know, kids blow up pools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hey Girl Scout, what's shaking? What's new with you? I have a secret, and I think it's time to come clean. You know those YouTube videos? The ones where people guess who's a furry or ask their stepsister weird questions while taking shots of tequila, or where they try to see if all Karens and Kyles think the same? I can't stop watching them. It's always the same video, full of stereotyping, cringe couples who probably shouldn't be dating, and people oversharing their really weird kinks for the world to know. But for some reason, I just keep coming back for more. Maybe I keep holding on to the hope that one of them will actually be thought-provoking and make me think about our society on a wider scale. Or maybe seeing people that blissfully unaware of their own ignorance gives me the ego boost I need to keep going. I don't know. Either way, they're a part of my daily routine, and I'm not planning to let them go anytime soon. So I thought it would be fun to watch with you guys, so that I could finally have someone to listen to all the comments I'm always dying to make while watching. Believe me, there's a lot that can be said about these videos. So let's just jump right into it and see the best of what YouTube has to offer. <laughs> this first video is these two exes playing this version of beer pong where if one sinks, the other has to do a dare to remove the cup and winner gets a few hundred bucks. Seems not so bad, right? That's not the interesting part though. The fun comes in when you get to know the people playing. For example. Why did you two break up? I found out he had been cheating on me for almost three years. You already know this guy does not have any fucks to give. He's like, yeah, I cheated for three years and I'd do it again. I'd literally let you watch me do it if it means I'll win the 200 bucks. And you know behind the laughter, the only reason this chick is here is because she's hoping there's some dare in there she can use to get her revenge on him for the years of suffering she went through. At least with the cameras rolling, she can be like, he was just a dare, bro. Kind of genius if you ask me. My point is proven as soon as she sinks her first cup. Experience the thrill of child labor in order to better understand your ex's sacrifice. Ah! <laughs> All right, I turned it off. Asshole! Oh, I hope there's something fucking like this for you. See, she loves watching him suffer. And I love how he's like, God, I hope I can get back at you and hurt you like that in one of these dares. Like cheating on her for years and her actually being in labor to have his child wasn't painful enough as is. It's like... This weird dynamic that makes it nearly impossible for me to stop watching. So she gets this dare to call her dad and pretend they're getting back together. And honestly, he's probably my favorite part of this whole video. Where did he used to work? Did he used to work at a car dealership? Yes. Can I motherfucker to fix your car and get you one? Like, this man knows a good deal when he sees one. He's willing to forgive everything that this ex put his daughter through, but only if she gets a car in return. It's nice to know that the worth he puts on his kid is roughly the same cost as a Honda Civic. Mad respect. Must be tough to always be on the business grind. Why did you two break up? You can tell Um, I found out he had been cheating on me for almost three years. So while, while I was pregnant. He's like, yep, she told that story right. Can't confirm. Did cheat on my pregnant girlfriend. So with her, I had someone else. He had a second home and a second family, basically. I loved the double life. It was a filler for, for needs. <laughs> no one asks, and he just keeps going into detail, like making sure everyone knows his thought process and his top tier skills at living a secret double life. He looks so proud of himself and she's just kind of taking it, which is really sad and not normal, but the way they film these videos makes it seem like this is just some mundane story you hear all the time. It's like entering some weird dimension where respect and being a good person are these rare qualities you can't expect from someone. Make out with your ex through a piece of plexiglass for 60 seconds. No shot. Yeah, there's no way. Why not? I have someone and he has someone. Ah, so he can have a side chick for three years in secret. But because he's on a YouTube video, he can't fake kiss his ex because he's seeing someone and has to be loyal to her. Right. Makes sense. List five genuinely kind things about your opponent. Drink if you can't do this without being an asshole. Number one is you are always there, like if I need you. You overall mean well. I guess you're kind of funny sometimes, I guess. You have become a really good dad. Um, number five, you always make sure that other people are ahead of you. So he puts others first, except for when he gets bored of you and decides to cheat instead of breaking up. It's nice for her to try and focus on the positives though. It's definitely her trying to make everyone think she's okay with him so that when he spontaneously goes missing one day, no one suspects her. 
He thinks he's the big brain one here with his cheating tactics, but our gal is one step ahead. This next video is truly some bottom of the barrel content. It's all about cheaters and what opinions they have surrounding that topic. It starts off really great, full of narcissism and justification of something totally irreparable. I am a cheater and it was a very hard time in my life when it happened. I ruined the entire part of myself. Before, I wasn't very empathetic with cheaters, but after I did it, I understood. Normally a lot of people, they definitely beat themselves up for it. I kind of, I don't. And it really just keeps getting worse. When I cheated, I enjoyed it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Imagine you start dating someone and they kind of mention they've done YouTube videos a few times for some company and you're like, oh wow, that sounds so cool, can I see? And they just whip out a video where they openly admit to enjoying cheating on someone. You'd obviously think they're a keeper, eh? Classy, classy people. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it in the process because one, my boyfriend at the time was 2,000 miles away. And here's my best friend's cousin, who is right here, and open and willing. And I was like, fuck it. Let's go. Oh yeah, screw your boyfriend for not living near you. How dare he have to live somewhere else for a certain period of time and love you enough to want to make it work anyways? Am I dumb? Or does it not just seem infinitely easier to just break up and date someone closer if the issue is the distance? I'm probably dumb. I'm probably missing some intellectual reason because she obviously doesn't feel bad, so it must be on the boyfriend somehow. Um, just because I did this one bad thing when I was like, let's say 15, doesn't mean that it should haunt me for the rest of my adulthood. Well, by this logic, it shouldn't haunt the person you cheated on, but let's be honest here, they're definitely the ones who get the lasting impact of that experience. Just shut up, man. People are more than allowed to judge you for doing something wrong and you shouldn't act so proud. It's not cute self-respecting vibes. It's more entitled, self-absorbed vibes. Just letting you know from an outsider's perspective. Three out of the four relationships I was in, I che was a cheater, but on that one, that last one, I got cheated on. I said I forgave and forget for that, but I didn't really. I still have, I still have a lot of hate in my heart for that. Oh, so it's not okay if someone does it to you, but you're allowed to do it to someone else. Right. Gotcha. Also, just want to say that she's cheated in most of her relationships, which is so funny to me because 30 seconds before she's like, we should all not be judged by our past mistakes. Girl, that's not a mistake if you do it more than once. He called me a dumb bitch every other sentence. And I was the most ugly and stupid person that he's ever met. Um, and I only exist to send him nudes. Like, yeah, you did the right thing beginning of that relationship. Yeah. It's never their fault, huh? Like, it's on the other person for being mean, and it's too hard to break up because you have to have a hard conversation. Mm. Poor them. They're the victims here. God, imagine having no shame like that. I'm equal parts disgusted and impressed that they can stand there so proudly and not care that people are going to judge them. I wonder how much they get paid to do these videos. I would hope that there was some sort of incentive and that they weren't so far gone that they just don't see the issue in what they did, but um, I don't know. I have low hope on that one. Look, it's not all bad. Sometimes you strike gold among all the dirty coal and your cold, dead heart is resurrected and you're reminded that maybe some people are actually kind of okay? You all deserve a bit of brain bleach here to restore your faith in humanity, so I want to end on a good note. In this video, couples go through each other's phones and, well, everyone else had way too many memories of their exes that definitely ruined the relationship after filming, this old couple kind of made my day. Uh-oh. Figuroni? Oh, that's my friend. She said that's her friend. Oh, good looking friend. What is it? Shirtless Tom Cruise. <laughs> okay. Gene? Why does he have so many sex toys in his email? I don't know, he needs it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else do you want to look at? Look at his okay. browser. Ditch the concrete. Six innovative options for driveways. Y'all know this guy gets to park his car in her garage if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but no, what can I say? These videos pull your emotions in all sorts of directions. I sometimes can't believe it's free. Although, who knows how long until they put limits on how many free videos we can watch a month. But hey, that's for another video. So yeah, there's my dirty little secret out there for the world to know. Hopefully the cringe you felt was outweighed by the sense of relief that you feel for not being nearly as nuts as some of these people. 
Seriously, it blows my mind that these people are so willing to show off how bad or stupid of a person they are for five minutes of attention. I wonder if they know just how much they make other people gain self-respect through comparing themselves to them. It's actually kind of selfless if you really think about it. Lucky for us, they pump out tons of videos, so this won't be the last of our little ego-boosting circle jerk. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me on my socials. I have Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, my fitness pal, the Weather Spoons app, whatever floats your boat. Until then, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys again soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Thanks for watching.